Once again, Halloween is upon us. I shall again return to Earth and wreak havoc upon the helpless. <laughs> and you will all cower before me. Well, after my dinner party, that is. So where are you off to all snazzed up? Well, if you must know, I have a premiere party to attend. So do you think this looks okay? Yeah, sure. I'm not overdoing it, am I? I don't want to look too dressed up or anything. No, you look fine, really. Excellent. So while we're on the subject, how's about taking me up with you? I'm freaking sick of this place. Well, I suppose I could, but just stay out of trouble. Fine, but I'm not making any promises. I was told there's a ghost in the building. Time to go flush him out. Brains! 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 That's not a ghost. That's a zombie. I'm gonna need a bigger gun. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It was a creepy and unique game released for the Super Nintendo. But if you're looking for a good zombie game to whet your appetite, then keep on looking, because this game deserves to be chucked into the nearest meat grinder. Okay, it may not be that bad, but it does contain a few things that could really piss a gamer off. Now the startup screen does have a cool horror-like movie feel to it. And during the game, you'll be killing more brain-eating zombies than you can shake a stick at. Zombies, zombies, and more zombies. And they turn up in the craziest places too. Castles, tunnels, shopping malls, barns and nobles. Brains, brains. Ooh, the Kama Sutra. Now the main objective in this game is to go around and collect your neighbors before they get eaten alive by brain-eating zombies. But if the zombies get to them before you do, yeah, fuck. The nice thing about this game is you don't have to find every single character in the level in order to finish the stage. And that's a good thing too, because do I really have to save this stuck up cheerleader? I mean, every cheerleader I ever asked out in high school flat out rejected my ass. Yeah, serves you right, you cunty bitch. Also along the way, you'll be collecting all sorts of weird weapons to use. Some that are odd, and some that are just plain uh, hmm, way to jack off on the cheerleader, pervert. Now the most ridiculous weapon in this game has to be throwing popsicles. If you throw these at zombies, it'll actually kill them. So exactly how is a frozen treat supposed to be a weapon against the undead? I don't think this is even possible, but I urge everyone to go out and try it to see if it really works. We at the Umbrella Corporation urge caution against throwing popsicles at zombies, as it has no effect. Please throw at your own risk. Now the first few stages are chock full of zombies, but after that, they start being replaced by other things, such as mummies, vampires, frankensteins, aliens, killer dolls, werewolves, sandworms, giant babies, Count Chocula, and tons of other shit that'll eat your neighbors. But what the hell is up with all these other enemies? The title of this game clearly reads, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, not Monsters Ate My Neighbors. So exactly what the fuck is going on here? In fact, the only thing you won't find in this game are skeletons, and I'm not exactly sure why. So heck, why don't we ask one? So joining us live to the Irate Gamer Show, connected by via satellite, Ronnie the Skeleton. Hello Ronnie, how are you? Am I on? Am I on? Oh goodness me! Well you sure are, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Oh goodness me, I can't believe it, I'm a big fan, big fan of yours. Well, my name is Ronnie, and you may remember me from my most memorable role as Skeleton Number 2 in The Legend of Zelda game. It was pretty much my breakthrough performance, and most popular to date. But I've gotta say, some of my business opportunities have pretty much dried up. 
I okay, now for a part in this game, but you believe I never received a call back from Nintendo? I thought it was a dead luck, but I guess I was mistaken. But my agent even said, Ronnie, you've got this thing in the bag. But I guess I might have been typecast for this part, but you okay, wouldn't believe now how many few acting roles there are out there for skeletons and video games. And oh my gosh, it's just one of those things that makes you scratch your head. I even was also very close to landing the lead role so, in the game Medieval. But wouldn't you believe my cousin ended up getting that part? I mean, can you believe it? I was in shock that Hulk got Ronnie, picked over me. Of course I was overjoyed. Uh, but Ronnie, obviously I have more experience than him. But then again, Ronnie, I'm not sure if I should feel bitter because that's the last uh, thing I would do is become a hypocrite of the entire this is, situation. This is not really but then again, out. I do deserve it. At can least we, that's what my mother tells me. And you won't believe how many people cut, out there think that the I should have more... Holy shit, where the hell was I? Anyway. The worst thing about this game is that you only start off with three lives in a game that has over 40 stages to fight through. And you're only given a password after you complete every third or fourth level without dying. What a bunch of horseshit. So that means you're gonna have to try your best not to get killed, attacked, Eaten, maimed, electrocuted. <laughs> what the fuck? Now let me just warn you that once you reach around level 20, the gameplay switches from killing monsters to solving frustrating puzzles that involve finding keys and hidden rooms. And you'll have to do this all while fighting off the overwhelming horde of enemies. Setting up the game this way just really flips my shit. Well, it appears we have a caller, which is funny because this isn't supposed to be a call-in show. All right, caller, you're on the air. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Ronnie. Am I on? Oh, uh, Ronnie. Um, yeah, we were experiencing some technical difficulties, but uh, we really don't need you right now. Well, as I was saying, it's really hard for me to get a job uh, working Ronnie? in video games these days for the salary Ronnie? I'm looking for. And you think I'm Jewish? Oh boy, that doesn't compare to the guys working in Sony. I once worked 12 oh straight months for them, and I got Can next somebody to cut nothing. the line, please? I mean, I really don't have any groceries because I don't really eat cut that much the, because I do it. have an apartment that Thank you. Now once you defeat the last boss, which is a floating scientist's head, you'll then arrive at the last level named the credit level. And instead of scrolling some boring credits at the end, we get to run around in the game developer's office as you collect your neighbors one last time. But what the hell kind of an ending is this? Can't we get some kind of closure? Way to fuck up the ending, guys. Especially you, Mark Hutchinson. I think a better ending would have been to find out if killing the last boss actually did something about the zombie problem. As a gamer, this is stuff I need to know. So since they did such a shitty job on this game, here's a special Eric Gamer fuck you to you! Oh god, it's probably Ronnie again. Well, folks, happy Halloween. I gotta go. Yes, yes! The show is mine. Welcome to the evil irate gamer show. Now, the next game we'll be reviewing. Oh, it seems we have a caller. Go ahead, caller. Am I on? Am I on? Oh, goodness me. Well, as I was saying. I tried to move on to bigger and better things, but there's not really demand for skeletons and parts of video games these days, unless a new Legend of Zelda game comes out.